Hello students of class 10. This is your new chapter. Chapter 9, some application of trigonometry. So, you see heights and distances. So, let us consider figure 8.1 of previous chapter which is redrawn below in figure 9.1. In this figure, the line AC, the line AC, drawn from the eye of the student to the top of the minar is called the line of sight. Okay, there is a student standing here and he is looking at the top. Okay, so this line, it is called the line of sight. The student is looking at the top of the minar. The angle BAC, the angle BAC so formed by the line of sight with the horizontal is called the angle of elevation of the top of the min minar from the eye of the student. Thus, the line of sight is the line drawn from the eye of an observer to the point in the object viewed by the observer. The angle of elevation of the point viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point being viewed is above the horizontal level. That is the case when we raise our head to look at the object. Okay. So, in here, first of all, you see line of sight. So, there is a student here. He is looking. Uh, he is looking at the top of the minar. Okay. So, if I join a line from his eyes to the top of this minar, uh, top of this minar, this line, it will be the line of sight. Okay, and this line, the, the angle that this line makes with the horizontal, okay, the line of sight, the angle that the line of sight makes with the horizontal, that angle is called the angle of elevation. Okay. So, it is called the angle of elevation of the top of the minar from the eye of the student. Thus, the line of sight is the line drawn from the eye of an observer to the point in the object viewed by the observer. The angle of elevation of the point viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point being viewed is above the horizontal level. Okay, so you see in here another figure it is given. There is a uh, there is a boy, and the boy is looking at the kite. Okay, the boy is looking at the kite. So this line it is called the line of sight. Okay, the boy is viewing the kite. The kite is the object. Okay, so if I draw a line. Uh, if I draw a line from the eye of, of from the eye of this boy to the object, if I draw a line, this is called the line of sight. And the angle that this line of sight makes with the horizontal, okay, horizontal level, that angle is called the angle of elevation. Okay, angle of elevation uh, of the object. Uh, uh, um, from the eye. That angle it is called the angle of elevation of the object uh, from the eye of the student. Next it is now consider the situation given in figure 8.2 the girl sitting on the balcony is looking down at the flower uh, looking down at the flower pot placed on a stair of temple 
In this case, the line of sight is below the horizontal level. The angle so formed by the line of sight with the horizontal is called the angle of depression. So in here you see, um, the girl, she is sitting on the balcony and she is looking at the object. Okay, she is looking down at the object. Okay, angle of, uh, you see here, angle of elevation will come if, uh, if I look at an object with, which is above the horizontal level. That means I will have to raise my head to look at the object. Then, uh, there, then the angle that my line of sight will form with the horizontal level, that angle will be called angle of elevation. When somebody looks up, okay. Now, angle of depression, if somebody looks down from a high level, if somebody looks down at the ground, okay, then the angle, you see, she is looking at the object, so this line is the line of sight, and the angle uh, that the line of sight makes with the horizontal level, if she looks straight, this will be the horizontal level, okay. And she is looking down at the object. This is called the line of sight. And the angle that the line of sight makes with the horizontal level, this is called angle of depression. Okay. So, thus the angle of depression is a point on the object being viewed is the angle. Okay. Angle of depression of a point on the object being viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point is below the horizontal level, okay, that means somebody is looking down below the horizontal level. That is the case when we lower our head to look at the point viewed, okay. So now you see, as we have learned what is uh, angle of elevation and angle of depression. So now we will uh, try to solve some examples here which is our example number one. A tower stands vertically on the ground from a point on the ground which is 15 meter away from the foot of the tower. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower is found to be 60 degree. Find the height of the tower. This is the diagram given. So, in here you see, Example 1, the diagram it is given, notes are already given it to you, you can write it in your uh, copy, okay, first you write it, after that you look at this video. So this is example 1, this is your diagram, this is your diagram, A, B, C, A, B is the tower, okay, A, B, this is the tower. This is the ground, AB is the tower and from a point on the ground, from a from this point, from this point, you see point C, it is how much? It is 15 meter away, 15 meter away from the foot of this tower, okay, this point, this point C is 15 meter away from the foot of this tower and the angle of elevation and the angle of elevation, this is this is the angle of elevation. Uh, the angle of elevation of the top of the top of the tower. Okay, from this point, the angle of elevation of the top of this tower, it is given as 60 degree. I have to find the height of this tower. I have to find the value of AB. Okay, so this will be a right angle triangle, okay, because this tower is uh, standing perpendicular to the ground, this is a right angle triangle, angle B will be 90 degree here. So what are the things to write given or what to find, those are you can look at the notes, in here I will show you how to solve. So this is your figure given, AB is the tower, okay, and there is a point on the ground. From this point, uh, the distance between this point and the foot of the tower, it is given 15 meter and the angle of elevation, it is given as 60 degree. I have to find the height of this tower. Okay. 
so in here i will use you see i will use the 10 function okay i will use the 10 function because in 10 function i will get perpendicular because 10 theta it is perpendicular by hypotenuse okay 10 theta if theta if angle i take is this angle c so 10 c it will be uh, ab by uh, bc okay ab by bc or cb whatever you say so in here i will use 10 function so in triangle abc this i will write 10 60 degree 10 60 degree it, it is perpendicular by base so ab by cb 10 60 value it is root 3 and ab ab i have to find so i will write ab by cb value it is given 15 so this is ultimately i will get 15 root 3 meter is equals to ab so what is the height of the tower so therefore the height of the tower it is 15 root 3 meter okay now next example 2 example 2 so an electrician has to repair an electrical uh, electric fault on a pole of height 5 meter she needs to reach a point 1.3 meter below the top of the pole to undertake the repair work what should be the length of the leather she should use which when inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the horizontal would enable her to reach the required position also how far from the foot of the pole should she place the foot of the leather so in here first of all this one i will take ad ad this is um, ad it is our electrical pole okay this is our electrical uh, electrical pole and uh, an electrician has to repair an electrical a fault on a pole of height 5 meter so this is ad ad length it is given as 5 meter okay she needs to reach a point 1.3 meter below the top of the pole this is the top of the pole and 1.3 meter let's take this is the point if we will name it b okay so uh, she will has to reach at this point to carry on her work uh, she should uh, what should be the length of the leather that she should use which when inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the horizontal okay 60 degree uh, to the, the horizontal would enable her to reach the required position also how far from the foot of the pole should she place the foot of the leather so let's take this is uh, this is the point C she is placing the leather here okay she is placing the leather here so she will climb this leather and she will reach this point b where she will carry on her work okay the actual height of the uh, electric pole it is ad which is given as 5 meter this is the actual this is the actual height of the pole and she has to reach a point this is b point here okay then this point is 1.3 meter this point it is 1.3 meter below okay below the top of the pole that means ab value it is 1.3 meter okay and next it is uh, angle of uh, when inclined at an angle of 60 degrees so this this leather it is inclined at an angle of 60 degree with the horizon okay or with the ground this this leather is inclined at an angle of 60 degree with the ground okay so i have to find here uh, the length of the leather that is bc value i have to find the length of the leather i have to find and then the next how far from the foot of the pole that means this dc okay dc value i have to find here two values i will have to find here so first of all in here you see 
uh, I, I will have to, I will find the value of BD, okay, this perpendicular I will have to find, BD value. So BD is equals to, BD is equals to, it will become AD minus AB, AD minus AB, which is equals to 5 minus 1.3 meter, okay, 5 minus 1.3 meter. So 5 minus 1.3, it will give me 3.7 meter, okay, it will give me 3 point. 7 meter BD value it is 3.7 meter okay so now in here first of all I will use uh, perpendicular I got if I want to find the uh, base here okay I can use the 10 function which it will be here 1060 degree okay I can write in triangle BDC 1060 degree it is equals to perpendicular by uh, base 10 10 theta it is perpendicular by base so 1060 degree it will be BD by DC okay it will be BD by DC so 1060 value it is root 3 is equals to BD BD value it is 3.7 by DC DC value I have to find I don't know the value of DC so if I solve it uh, I will get DC is equals to 3.7 by root 3 okay this one if i solve it a little bit i will get dc is equals to 3.7 root 3 by 3 i will get so root 3 value in the question it is given you see example to in the question it is given uh, root 3 value it is given as 1.73 okay i have to take the root 3 value as 1.73 so if this one if i solve it uh, this one if I uh, root 3 mm, okay so if this one if I solve it here So this one if I solve it I will get 3.7 into uh, 1.73 divided by 3 7 into 1.73 uh, this will give me 6.401 by divided by 3 if I do I will get I will get is equals to 2.14 meter this is approximate value I will get okay this is the approximate value I will get so DC its value it is how much I got it is 2.14 meter I got okay DC value it is 2.14 meter I got so base I got now what I have to find I have to find the hypotenuse that is the length of the leather okay that is the uh, length of the leather so now in here you see uh, I can use a, a sign I can use sine 60 I can use uh, yes sine because uh, sine theta it is uh, um, perpendicular by hypotenuse sine theta it is perpendicular by hypotenuse yes so therefore sine 60 degree is equals to uh, it will be BD BD by BC okay sine 60 degree it will be BD by BC so sine 60 degree uh, value it, it will be root 3 by 2 is equals to BD value uh, it is 3.7 uh, by BC so now BC it will be uh, BC is equals to 3.7 into 2 by root 3 I will get so this one if you solve it you will get approximately 4.28 meter this will be your approximate okay
so therefore length of the leather this is 4.28 meter okay and uh, at what uh, at what point will will she have to uh, put the leather she will have to put the leather at a distance of 2.14 meter away from the foot of the tower or foot of the electric pole okay and what um, what should be the length of the le leather the length of the leather should be 4.28 meter so next again example 3 example 3 so an observer 1.5 meter tall an observer 1.5 meter tall let's name this observer dc 1.5 meter tall uh, is 28.5 meter away from a chimney this observer it is how much 28.5 meter away from uh, from a chimney the angle of elevation of the top of the chimney from her eyes the angle of elevation this is let's say this point it is the observer's eye and this is the chimney okay this is the chimney so the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the eye of the observer this angle of elevation this is the angle of elevation which is given it as 45 degree what is the height of the chimney this one name i will give a uh, b a b e okay so what is the height of the chimney that means what is the height a b value i have to find here okay a b i have to find here understand okay so you see from this figure I can say that if DC is 1.5 meter then uh, EB, EB will be also 1.5 meter and if CB is 28.5 meter then DE will be also 28.5 meter. Okay. So what is the height of the tower? In here I have to find AB value I have to find. Understand AB value I have to find here. What is the height of the tower? AB value I have to find here. So in here you see, if I take this triangle, triangle ADE, if I take this triangle ADE, I can find the value of AE here. Understand? I can find the value of AE here. So in triangle ADE, in triangle ADE, uh, in here I will use 10 function I will use. Understand? Because 10 theta it is perpendicular by base. Base I know. Understand? 10 45 value I know. For, so from here perpendicular value. I can find which is a e here so i will use 10 45 here. 10 45 degree it is equals to perpendicular which is a e by base which is d e so 10 45 value it is one uh, a e value i don't know d e it is 28.5 meter it is given understand so therefore 28.5 if i bring this side i will get 28.5 meter is equals to a e okay a e value i got so therefore now what i can do therefore the height of the tower which is a b is a b is equals to a e plus e b yes a e plus e b so a b is equals to a e value i got 28.5 plus e b value it is 1.5 so this is meter so this one if you find that uh, if you add it 1.5 if you add it uh, 28.5 uh, plus 1.5 if you add it you will get the value 30 meter okay so what is the height of this chimney the height of this chimney is 30 meter raised what given that to find whatever you need to write those are it is given in your notes you can check those notes okay so next again you see example example four from a point p on the ground the angle of elevation of the top of a 10 meter tall building is 30 degree a flag is hoisted at the top of the building and the angle of elevation of the top of the flag staff from p is 45 degree find the length of the 
uh, flag staff uh, and the distance of the building from the point P. You may take root 3 is equals to uh, root 3 value, it is 1.732. Understand? So now in here you see there is a building, okay, there is a building which is BA, and on top of this building, uh, a flag is hoisted. Okay, a flag is hoisted. Understand? A flag is hoisted, and um, from a point P on the ground, from a point P on the ground, the angle of elevation uh, of a 10 meter tall building, the angle of elevation, this is the building, AB is the building, okay, from point P, the angle of elevation, uh, the angle of elevation of point B from P, okay, the angle of elevation of point B from P, it is given as, it is given as 30 degree, okay. So this is given as 30 degree here, okay. And uh, then it is given that the angle of elevation of the top of the flags, uh, flag staff, okay, from P, angle of elevation from the top of, uh, angle of elevation of the top of the flag staff. This is, this is the top of, point D is the top of the flag staff. So angle of elevation, okay, of D from point P, it is given as 45 degree. This is this whole angle, it is given as 45 degree. Okay. Uh, find the length of the flag stuff. That means DB, DB length I have to find here. And the distance of the building from point P. And PA I have to find here. Okay. DB and uh, PA I have to find here. And uh, this is... Uh, 10 meter tall building, this is, it is given as 10 meter given, okay, BA, BA which is the building here, understand, BA which is the building here, okay, um, height of the building it is given as uh, 10 meter and on top of this uh, building there is a flag, okay, on top of this building there is a flag, okay, on top of this building there is a uh, flag, top of this flag, Okay, that means this is, instead of drawing the flag in this way, you can say that this is the flag. Okay, this is the flag. From the, um, the angle of elevation of the top of the flag from point B, it is 45 degree. And the angle of elevation of the top of the building, of the top of the building from point B, it is given as 30 degree. Okay, I have to find, sorry, this, this would be A, this is A. I have to find here um, the length of the flag stuff that is db and the distance of the building from point p p i have to find okay so first of all in here i can take uh, first of all you see this is a 10 meter given so i can take this triangle there Okay, I can take uh, this triangle here. So in triangle, in triangle uh, P A uh, B A P, in triangle B A P, uh, I can use ten function ten thirty degree. It is equals to B A by P A. It is one by root three. It is equals to B A ten by P A. So, if I find the value of PA, I will get PA is equals to 10 root 3 meter. Okay, I will get 10 root 3 meter, which is equ equals to, you can say, 17.32 meter. Okay, which is equals to, you can say, 17.32 meter. Okay, so this one value I got 17.32 meter. Now, I have to find DB here. Okay, I have to find uh, DB here. So now what I will use, uh, DB, okay. Now I will use this whole triangle. Okay, now I will use this whole triangle. In triangle DAP, this is point D here, DAP, uh, again I will use the 10 function. 10 45 degree is equals to DA by PA, okay, DA by PA, so 1045 is 1 is equals to 
DA. DA is DB plus BA by, uh, it is given as uh, this one. I will use in here uh, 10, uh, 10 root uh, 3 I will use. Okay, 10 root 3 I will use. Understand? PA, PA value it is 17.32. 10 root 3 means 17.32. Instead of writing 17.32, I am using 10, uh, 10 root 3 here. So this one I will get 10 root 3 is equals to DB, DB plus BA value it is 10 given. Okay, BA it is uh, 10 given. So this is ultimately you will get 10 root 3 minus 10 is equals to DB. So this is 10 root 3 minus 1 meter is equals to db understand uh, root 3 minus 1 is equals to db so which is ultimately you will get 7.32 meter is equals to db so therefore the height of the uh, flag height of the flag it is given as 7.32 meter height of the flag uh, stuff okay height of the flag stuff it is i got 7.32 meter Understand? Next it is uh, example 5. Okay, next it is example. Uh, example. Next it is example 5. The shadow of a tower standing on the level ground is found to be 40 meter longer when the sun's uh, altitude is 30 degree than when it is 60 degree. Find the height of the tower. So in here one tower it is there. This tower is casting shadow. Okay. Um, the, the shadow of a tower standing on a ground uh, is found to be 40 meter longer when the sun's altitude is 30 degree um, uh, sun's altitude is 30 degree and then when it is uh, 60 degree ok so you see This is the tower AB. Okay. Uh, this is point C. So, the angle of elevation of this point, okay, that means uh, sun is casting a shadow. In here, AB is the uh, uh, tower and CB is, is its shadow. Okay, CB is its shadow. Understand? So the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from this point C it is 60 degree. Okay. And then next this is point D. Okay, this is point D. And from point D, the angle of elevation. Uh, of point A from point D it is 30 degree understand so this shadow CB and DB okay CB and DB both are shadows of AB okay it depends on the altitude of the sun okay it depends on the altitude of the uh, sun understand so when the sun's altitude is 30 degree the shadow that this tower cast when the sun's altitude uh, is 30 degree it is 40 meter 40 meter longer 40 meter this shadow is 40 meter longer than the shadow this tower cast on the ground when the sun's altitude is 60 degree okay so cb and db they are shadows of ab okay db db is the shadow of ab and db is longer than cb by how much by 40 meter okay so i have to find the height of this tower ab height of this tower i have to find okay i have to find the uh, height of this tower So now in here you see, first of all I will take uh, this triangle I will take, okay, I will take uh, this triangle I will take, 
so um, okay in triangle in triangle ABC I will use the 10 function 10 60 degree is equals to AB by CB I will get 10 60 it is root 3 is equals to AB by CB I will get so root 3 CB is equals to AB I will get this is our equation 1 I can take next I will take in triangle this whole triangle I will take ABD in triangle ABD okay ABD 10 30 degree again I will use the 10 function 10 30 degree it is equals to AB by it is equals to AB by DB 10 30 value it is 1 by root 3 okay 10 30 value it is 1 by root 3 is equals to AB AB by uh, DB DB it is DC plus CB DC plus CB so this one ultimately I will get DC plus CB by root 3 is equals to AB this is our equation 2 so in here what I got from 1 and 2 what I got here from equation 1 and 2 I can write from equation 1 and 2 I can write that root 3 CB this is equals to DC plus CB by root 3 so root 3 if I sent it this side root 3 into root 3 I will get 3 CB is equals to DC plus CB okay so this one I will get this one I will get CB I will bring this side so I will get 3 CB minus CB is equals to DC 2 CB is equals to DC and DC value you see DC it is 40 meter so CB is equals to 40 by 2 I will get CB is equals to 20 meter I will get. CB how much you got 20 meter this value of CB if I put it in equation 1 okay this value of CB if I put it in equation 1 then I will get the value of AB okay then I will get the value of AB okay so CV value in any other equation I will put if I put uh, CV value in equation 1 then I will get AB is equals to 20 root 3 meter okay AB is equals to 20 root 3 meter I will get so therefore the height of the tower it is how much I got height of the tower it is 20 root 3 meter I got okay so next I will go to uh, example 6 okay next I will go to example 6 here next I will go to uh, example example 6 so the angles of depression uh, angles of depression of the top and the bottom of an 8 meter tall tower uh, 8 meter tall building from the top of a multi-story building are 30 degree and 45 degree respectively find the height of the multi-story building and the distance between the two buildings so next it is example 6 the angles of depression of the top and the bottom of an 8 meter tall tower from the top of a multi-story building are 30 degrees and 40 degrees respectively. Find the height of the multi-story building and the distance between the two buildings. So in here you see the angle of depression of the top and the bottom of an 8 meter tall tower from the top of a multi-story building first of all there is an 8 meter tall tower let's name it AB okay um, 
of the top and bottom of the top and bottom of an 8 meter tall building from the top from the top of a multi story building the angle of depression of the top of the top and bottom of an 8 meter tall building from the top of a multi-story building this is the multi-story building PC is the multi-story building and BA is the 8 meter building okay are 30 degrees and 45 degrees respectively okay this is the angle of depression okay that means somebody is uh, on the top of this multi-story building Somebody is there and he is looking down. He is looking down. Okay. The angle of depression of point B from point P it is given as uh, 30 degree. So first of all I will draw a normal here. This is Q. So with this normal uh, the angle of depression of this point this is it is given as 30 degree. And the angle of depression of point A from point B it is given as 45 degrees. So this is given as 45 degrees. Okay. So find the height of the multi-story building. PC value I have to find here. PC value I have to height of the height of the multi-story building. And the distance between the two buildings, distance between the two buildings, that is AC, I will have to find it. Distance between the two buildings. Okay. So now from point B, I will draw a perpendicular on uh, this PC, on this line, this one also I will draw a perpendicular. And I will name it D. Okay. So in here I am getting two triangles. One is uh, B, P, D and the other one it is A, P, C. Okay. So you see in a Q, P is parallel to B, D. Okay. Q, P is parallel to B, D. So this one I will get an alternate angle. You see uh, if B, P is the transversal if I take this is parallel. This is parallel to this and this is the transversal. So this angle will be equals to this angle. So this is this will be also 30 degree and this will be 45 degree. This is parallel to this and this is the transversal. So this angle will be equal to this angle alternate angles. Okay, so this one and these two angles it will be also uh, This will be 30 degree. This will be 45 degree Now I, I have to find uh, the value of uh, PC here. Okay height of the multi-story building. So in here you see BA and uh, DC it will be equal this is 8 meter DC will be also 8 meter understand DC it will be also 8 meter okay so now uh, in here first of all I will take let's take this triangle in triangle BPD okay this triangle I'm taking in triangle BPD in here I will use 10 okay again 10 from the uh, 10 function I will use this is 10 30 degree 10 30 degree is equals to PD by BD okay PD PD by BD 10 30 it is 1 by root 2 is equals to PD and uh, by BD I will get okay so therefore BD is equals to I will get uh, root 3 PD I will get okay BD is equals to root 3 PD I will get okay so now next I will take this triangle PAC okay I will take the triangle PAC 
So in triangle, in triangle PAC, next I will take triangle PAC, PAC, again I will use 10 function here, 10 45 degree, 10 45 degree, it will be PC by, PC by AC, 10 45 it is 1, so 1 is equals to PC, I can write PD plus DC, PD plus DC by, uh, it will be AC here. So AC is equals to, I will get PD plus DC value, it is 8, okay. And now you see, Okay, now you see here, AC will be equals to BD, okay, AC will be equals to BD, BD value this one I have given, so in place of AC I can write BD, okay, BD is equals to um, PD plus 8, since, since AC is equals to BD. Okay, since AC is equals to BD, BD value I have got this one root 3 PD is equals to PD plus 8. Yes, this is I have got. Understand? So now this PD I will send it this side. So I will get root 3 PD minus PD uh, is equals to 8 I will get here. Okay. So this is I will get PD if I common I will take then I will get root 3 minus 1 PD is equals to 8. So this is I will get PD is equals to 8 by root 3 minus 1. Okay 8 by uh, root 3 minus 1. So this one I will rationalize it. Okay. Let me write it in here. Let me write it in here. This value you see PD is equals to I got 8 by root 3 minus 1. I will rationalize it. Root 3 plus 1. Root 3 plus 1. So PD is equals to I will get 8 root 3 uh, plus 8 by root 3 the whole square minus 1 square. So this is I will get PD is equals to uh, PD is equals to I will get 8 root 3 plus 8 by 3 minus 1 uh, which one uh, PD is equals to let's not uh, this let's not multiply this keep it in this way only root 3 plus 1 and this one also let's keep it in this way 8 root 3 plus 1 so this is I will get 8 root 3 plus 1 by 2 I will get so PD is equals to I will get 4 root 3 plus 1 meter. Understand PD how much I got? PD I got 4 root 3 plus 1 meter. Okay, PD this much I got. What I have to find? I have to find the height of the multi-story building and the distance between. So AC value I need. Uh, AC value I need. Okay. Uh, in here. 4, 3. Uh, okay. In here AC value I need. And height of the multi-story that is PC value I need. Okay. So PD value I have got, um, AC, uh, AC is equals to PC I could have got. So um, okay. 
so now you see uh, pd i got so therefore pc okay i will find uh, pc i will find here so let me wrap this one pd value i got so therefore pc that is the height of the uh, height of the multi story tall building okay pc is equals to pd plus dc okay pc is equals to pd plus dc so pd4 root 3 plus 1 i got plus 8 okay dc value it will be uh, 8 so therefore uh, in here you see okay let's take 4 common here 4 root 3 plus 1 plus 2 you will get so ultimately 4 root 3 plus 3 meter this is the this is what this is the height of the uh, height of the multi-story tall building okay 4 root 3 plus 3 meter this is the height of the multi-story tall building okay now i have to find ac here okay now i have to find uh, AC so uh, one thing you see in here one thing you see in here okay so between between these two I can add one more line between these two you see between these two I can add one more line here uh, instead of doing this let's keep it PC only okay so now what will happen here AC if I send this side so what I will get I am adding sorry not in here not in here I will add in here okay after this after this comes this one okay now in here one line it will come this is I am writing it in here AC is equals to PC okay what I got AC is equals to AC is equals to PC understand then next now ac is equals to uh, this one you can give ac is equals to pc this one you can give equation one you can give okay ac is equal to pc equation one now you can write uh, ac equal to pc means what pd plus dc now you can write pd plus dc so these two lines just these two lines because after this line you will get this one only ac is equal to pd plus dc is how much this is 8, so this one 8, and just these two lines here, right? And AC is equal to PC, this is equation 1. Understand? So now in here, easily you can say, from equation 1, from equation 1, AC is equals to PC, PC value how much I got? 4 root 3 plus 3 meter, so therefore AC is equals to 4 root 3 plus 3 meter that means the height of the multi-story building okay height of the multi-story building and the distance between the two buildings are same okay this one these two are the answer understand next i will go to example seven okay next i will go to example seven here example example seven from a point on the bridge across a river, the angles of depression of the banks on opposite sides of the river are 30 degree and 45 degree respectively. If the bridge is at a height of 3 meter from the banks, find the width of the river. Okay, from a point on, uh, on a bridge across a river, there is a bridge, okay, there is a bridge. Uh, on this bridge, there is a point the angles of depression of the banks on opposite side of the river there is a river going on there is a river like that there is a river going on there is a bridge okay so uh, the angles of depression of the banks on opposite side there is one and uh, there is one angle of depression of the banks on the opposite side of the river are 30 degree and one is 30 degree and the another one angle of depression 45 degree okay 
if uh, if the bridge is at a height of 3 meter above the bank 3 meter above the bank okay bridge is at a height of 3 meter above the bank so in here this is the height you join it okay this one we will name it according to your diagram p a b d okay height is at a 3 meter this is the height okay pd is the height of the bridge so from this point okay the angle of depression of point a from this point is 30 degree and the angle of depression of point b from this point is 45 degree okay I have to find the width of the river. That means AB I have to find here. Okay, that means AB I have to find here. AB I have to find here. So in here, first of all, I will take you see this will be 30 degree because this is parallel to this. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Uh, this is parallel to this. This is alternate angle, 30, 30 degree alternate angle. And this will be 45 degree. Okay. Now I will take this triangle. Very easy there. This one in triangle PAD. In triangle PAD, height it is given. I have to find this distance AB. So first of all, I will find AD and then DB. I will find and then this two plus two. Then I will get the uh, AB. Then I will get AB. So first of all, I have to find base here. Perpendicular distance it is given. This angle I know. So in here I will use what what function I will use tan I will use tan 30 degree is equals to perpendicular by base PD by AD tan 30 degree value it is 1 by root 3 PD value 3 by AD so AD is equals to 3 root 3 uh, 3 root 3 meter you will get this is AD and then again I will take this triangle in triangle PBD Again, I will use 10 45 degree is equals to PD by DB. So 10 45 means 1 is equals to PD, it is 3 by DB. So DB is equals to 3 meter, I will get. Okay, DB is equals to 3 meter, I will get. So therefore, therefore, width of the river, you can say width of the river, that is width of the river. That is what? That is AB. AB is equals to AD plus DB. AD value you got 3 root 3 and DB you got 3. So this is meter. If you want to take 3 common, then take 3 common. Then ultimately you will get root 3 plus 1 meter. AB is equals to AB is equals to root 3 plus 1 meter. Understand? So therefore width of the river, width of the river it is what? Uh, 3 bracket root 3 plus 1 meter okay so next next I will go to exercise 9.1 okay next I will go to exercise 9.1 so exercise 9.1 question number 1 saying a circus artist is climbing a 20 meter long rope which is uh, tightly uh, stretched and tied from the top of a vertical pole to the ground. Find the height of the pole if the angle made by the rope with the ground level is 30 degree. Your figure it is given. Okay. Exercise 9.1 question number 1. Figure it is given. Your figure is this one. Notes are already given. You please write down the notes. After that you listen to these videos. A, B, C. This is your 30 degree given. And this is your 20 meter given. Okay, 30 degree given and this is your 20 meter given. So in here what given? Artist is climbing, uh, climbing a 20 meter long rope which is tightly stretched and tied from the top of a vertical pole to the ground. Find the height of the pole. Uh, this one I want. Okay, AB I want. If the angle made by the rope with the ground level is 30 degree. Angle of elevation given. AB I want. Okay, no problem. So in here you see what function you will use here. What function? In here tan function I will not use. In here I will use sine function because in sine function I have perpendicular by hypotenuse. Perpendicular by hypotenuse and sine 30 degree value I know. So therefore in triangle ABC that one only means you have to see which function you will use. 
what are the value given what value you want according to that you will use the function so in your a b c you will use sine 30 degree is equals to i know uh, perpendicular by hypotenuse okay perpendicular by hypotenuse so perpendicular i have not given it is not given i have to find ac 20 given and sine 30 value this is i know uh, you see sine sine 30 value sine 30 value uh, it is 1 by 2 okay it is 1 by 2 so 20 you bring this side 20 by 2 is equals to a b so 10 meter is equals to a b so therefore what height of the um, height of the pole height of the pole is what 10 meter okay height of the pole is 10 meter so this one simple as that next again you see question number 2 here question number 2 here a tree breaks due to storm and the broken part bends uh, so that the top of the tree touches the ground making an angle 30 degree with it. The distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground is 8 meter. Find the height of the tree. So there was a tree. Okay, there was a, let me draw it. There was a tree. Okay, let's say this is tree. Understand? And due to storm, the tree broke. Okay, due to storm, this tree broke. Let's say it broke at point here. Okay. Let's say this is our B, C. Let's say the tree broke at this point. Understand? So this part, it will, it will fall to the ground. Yes, it will fall to the ground. Let's say this part, it will, it fall to the ground. Okay. This part, it, it fell to the ground. It broke and it fell to the ground. This one, therefore, I will draw in dotted lines. This part, it fell and it fell, uh, it broke and fell to the ground okay and making an angle 30 degree with it this broken part part makes an angle 30 degree with the ground understand let's name it a okay the distance between the foot of the tree and the point where the top touches the ground is 8 meter this distance it is given as 8 meter foot of the tree and the point where the uh, tree touches the ground this is 8 meter it is given find the height of the tree bc value i Okay, BC value in it. Okay, so in a very easy there. Okay, very easy. The directly you use this is what this is a right angle triangle. So in triangle A, B, C, now you will have to see which function you will use here. Okay, you will have to see uh, that which function you will use here. Okay, so in here you will have to see that which function you will use here. Okay, this is a right angle triangle, it is given. Understand? Distance uh, of the foot of the tree and the point where the tea tree touches the ground, okay, after breaking, okay, where the tree top touches the ground, this distance it is 8 meter given and this broken part with the ground, it makes an angle of 30 degree. Understand? I have to find the height of the tree. Sorry, it is not BC. I have to find the total height of this tree. Let's name the point uh, D. I have to find DC I have to find it. Understand? I have to find the DC, not, not BC. Okay, the total height. That means this part plus this part. The standing part plus the broken part. Okay. So therefore it is a right angle triangle. Now you will have to see which function uh, you will use here. Okay, which function you will use here. Because first of all I need the perpendicular and then I need the hypotenuse also. Two values I need. Perpendicular and hypotenuse. Understand? Two values I need. So in triangle ABC, I will first of all, you see, I can use uh, 10, I can use 10, 30. Okay, 10, 30, it is perpendicular by base. Perpendicular by 8. So this one, let me, let me do the problem here. So this one, I will get 8 by root 3 is equals to BC. So root 3, root 3, if you both side, if you multiply it, you will get 8 root 3 by 3 is equals to uh, BC. You understand? This one you got how much? 8 root 3 by 3. Now, now, uh, you see, I will use, uh, uh, you see, um, okay. 
cos I can use. Okay, cos I can use here. Cos 30 degree, cos 30 degree, it will be is equals to base by hypotenuse. Yes, cos it is base by hypotenuse. So cos 30 degree, cos 30 degree value it is root 3 by 2, root 3 by 2 is equals to CA 8 given and this will be BA. So this one ultimately BA is equals to I will get 8 into 2 by root 3. So BA is equals to I will get 16 by root 3 I will get. Okay, BA is equals to 16 by uh, root 3 I will get. Okay, uh, 16 by root 3 I will get. So this one again BA is equals to both side root 3 root 3 if I multiply to numerator and denominator root 3 root 3 if I multiply to I will get this this much meter I will get. So therefore last I can say that therefore the height of the tree the height of the tree the height of the tree which is equals to um, which is equals to BC plus BA okay BC plus BA so 8 root 3 by 3 plus 16 root 3 by 3 you will get understand height of the tree okay this plus this this one I got 16 root 3 by 3 meter I got understand hypotenuse I got this one uh, perpendicular height I got this one okay so therefore the height of the tree that means DC I have to find here okay DC I have to height of the tree that means this plus this okay height of the tree this plus this so in here this will be 3 8 root 3 plus 16 root 3 I will get so uh, 8 plus 16 I will get uh, 8 plus uh, 16 I will get 24 here so 24 root 3 by 3 I will get 3 and 24 if you cut ultimately you will get 8 root 3 meter 8 root 3 meter this is the height of the tree okay 8 root 3 meter this is the height of the tree so uh, next again question number 3 Okay, next question number three. So next you see question number three. A contractor plans to install two slides for the children to play in a park. For the children below the age of five years, she prefers to have a slide whose top is at a height of 1.5 meter and is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the ground, whereas the elder children she wants to have a steep slide at a height of 3 meter and, uh, uh, and inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the ground. What should be the length of the side in each cases? So a contractor plans to install, install two slides for the children to play uh, in a park. Okay, so for the children below the age of 5, she prefers to have a slide whose top is at a height of uh, 1.5 meter uh, whose top is at a height of okay so this is for the below uh, below the age below the age of three years so below the uh, this for this type of children's he will make a slide whose height is 1.5 meter and is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the ground is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to the ground whereas for elder children she wants to that means uh, age whose age is greater than three years elder children she wants to have a steep slide at a height of three meter okay for elder children she wants to have a steep slide whose height is three meter okay this is from here to here whose, whose height is three meter uh, and inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the ground and inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the ground this is whole is 60 degree 
ओके वॉट शुड बी देंथ ऑफ द स्लाइड इन इच केस सो आई टू फाइंड हेयर ए सी एंड ए डी आई हैव टू फाइंड हेयर ओके ए सी एंड ए डी आई टू फाइंड सो ओके नो प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल यूज You see, perpendicular distance it is given. Hypotenuse I have to find in each of the cases. So first of all, I will use in triangle ACB. In this triangle, I will use. Now you see what function you will use here. I will use sine function because sine theta it is uh, perpendicular by hypotenuse. So therefore, I will use sine theta here. CB by AC. So this is sine uh, sine sine theta. It is one by two. Is equals to one point five by AC. So AC is equals to one point five into two. So this gives me uh, one point five into two. Uh, one point five into two. This will give me three meter. This gives me uh, three meter. Okay. So AC its value should be three meter. So the slide. Uh, of smaller children, the slide from the for the smaller children, the length of the slide it it should it will be three meter. And next, I will take this big triangle in triangle ABD. Okay, again in here also I will use sine only. Sine sixty degree. Sine sixty degree. It is equals to DB by AD. Okay, DB by AD. Sine sixty. It is root three by two. Is equals to DB. It is three by AD. So AD AD is equals to I will get three into two by root three. I will get okay. <coughs> root three I will get. <coughs> so this it will give me. I am doing it in here. AD is equals to six by root three. I will get. So AD is equals to six root three by three. So AD is equals to two root three. I will get. Okay, two root three. I will get. So AD it is equals to two root three meter. I will get. Okay, let us check the back answer. Exercise nine point one. Uh, exercise nine point one. Question number three. Three meter, it is correct there, and two root three meter, correct there. Okay. So now next, I will go to question number four. I will go here. Question number four: The angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point on the ground which is thirty meter away from the foot of the tower is thirty degree. Find the height of the tower. Okay. So there is a tower there. Let's name it A B. There is a tower there. The angle of elevation of the top of the tower from a point on the ground. Let's give this point C. From this point, uh, the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from this point C. Uh, it is given. Um, it is given as thirty degree. It is given as thirty degree, and which is thirty meter away from the foot of the tower. Base it is given as thirty meter. What I have to find height of the tower. That means A B. I will have to find it. So direct in triangle in triangle A B C. What function I will use here? This one perpendicular I need. Okay, what what function? Ten function I will use. Ten thirty degree. Ten thirty degree is equals to A B by A B by B C. Ten thirty it is one by root three is equals to A B by thirty. So this is thirty by root three is equals to A B. Both numerator and denominator root three root three. If I multiply do. So ultimately, I will get ten root three is equals to a b. I will get understand ten root three is equals to a b. Let's check the back answer. Ten uh, okay, ten root three. You can write ten root three meter is equals to a b. So therefore, you can write therefore the height of the tower is ten root three meter. Okay. Next, next I will go to question number five. I will go question number five. A kite is flying at a height of sixty meter above the ground. There is a kite. It is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground. The uh, string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground. It is the string attached to the kite. It is temporarily tied tied to the ground. Okay, it is temporarily uh, tied to the uh, ground. 
the inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degree inclination it is 60 degree okay find the length of the string assuming that there is no slag in the string okay so this one you name give uh, name give a b c so this is the clock uh, this is the kite which is flying 60 meter above the ground and this kite is tied uh, to a point on the ground okay and this string makes a 60 degree angle with the ground I have to find what I have to find here. Find the length of the string. AC value I have to find. Length of the string. Okay. Length of the string I have to find. So in here again what function I will use here. In here I will use sine function. Sine 60 degree is equals to in triangle. In triangle ABC. Sine 60 degree uh, I will use AB by AC. Sine 60 degree AB by sine 60 root 3 by 2. AB it is 60 by AC so this one AC is equals to I will get 60 into 2 by root 3 so this is I will get 60 is equals to 120 by root 3 okay 120 by uh, root 3 I will get so this is ultimately it will give me AC is equals to uh, 120 into root 3 by root 3 into root 3 3 you will get so AC is equals to you will get 40 root 3 meter AC how much you will get 40 root 3 meter understand length of the string therefore you can write therefore the length of the string it is 40 root 3 meter this is the answer let's check the back answer uh, question number 5 question number 5 40 root 3 meter understand next next I will go to question number 6 here okay next I will go to question number uh, next I will go to question number 6 here a 1.5 meter tall boy is standing at some distance of uh, uh, from a 30 meter tall tower okay there is a one point let's call him a b 1.5 meter tall boy is standing in front of a uh, is standing in front of a 30 meter so in here the height of the building the height of the building it is given as 30 meter okay the height of the building it is given as uh, 30 meter the angle of elevation from his eyes to the top of the building increases from 30 degree to 60 degree as he walks towards the building okay so at point uh, when he was the boy when he was um standing here okay at some distance from the from the building when he was standing here let's say his angle of uh, elevation angle of elevation of the top of the building from his eyes the angle of elevation was uh, 30 degree okay and then the same boy he walks some distance towards the building okay the same boy walks some distance towards the building let's say he reached point e this one a b c d let's call it e and f and h okay he came to this point h and now from uh, point a the angle of elevation of point D from this point the angle of elevation point D this is his 60 degree understand first it was uh, 30 degree let me draw it properly let's increase this one then you will get this is a B 1.5 meter from A his angle of elevation it was 30 degree okay he walked some distance and now his angle of elevation it, is, it became 60 degree okay let's call this point F understand so from this figure I can say that AB will be equals to FH it will be is equals to EC also okay 
So FH it will be also 1.5 meter, EC will be also 1.5 meter. What I have to find here, uh, question number 6, find the distance you walk towards the building. Distance, that means BH, this distance I have to find, distance you walk towards the building. So first of all I will take in triangle, uh, in triangle DEF, okay, DEF, in triangle uh, DEF. So in here you see 30 meter. This is 30 meter. It is the total height of the building. Total height of the building. So if I want, if I take this triangle DEF, if I take this triangle, understand? I need the value of DE here, the perpendicular DE value I need. So DE value I can easily calculate. You see EC, EC it is 1.5 meter. So from DC, if I subtract EC, then I will get DE. So therefore, first of all, I will write DC is equals to DE plus EC. Okay, DC is equals to DE plus EC. So DC minus EC is equals to I will get DE. DC it is <coughs> DC it is thirty. 30 EC it is 1.5 is equals to DE I will get. So 30 minus 1.5 I will get. 30 minus 1.5 I will get 28.5 meter is equals to DE. DE how much I got? DE I got 28.5 meter. Okay, DE value I got 28.5 meter. So now I will use in triangle, in triangle DEF, okay, uh, I will use 10 here, 10 60 degree, it is equals to DE by FE, okay, 10 60 degree, it is equals to DE by FE, I will get, 10 60 degree, it is root 3, is equals to DE, I will get 28.5 by FE, so from here, I can find the value of FC it is equals to 28.5 by root 3 I will get okay FC is equals to 28.5 by root 3 I will get so this is equals to 28.5 root 3 by 3 I will get okay uh, this is FE is equals to finished now I will take this bigger triangle triangle ADE I will take okay I will take the bigger triangle so in triangle in triangle a d e okay in triangle a d e again i will use 10 30 degree it is equals to d e by a e i will get d e by a e i will get 10 30 degree this is 1 by root 3 is equals to d e DE value I got 28.5 28.5 by AE so AE is equals to I will get 28.5 root 3 meter AE is equals to I got how much 28.5 uh, root 3 meter I got understand so therefore I got the value of AE I got yes AE I got here 28.5 root 3 understand AE I got 28.5 root 3 now you see FC I, uh, F oh sorry this is FE FE dot FC okay FE this is FE FE this is FE Okay, so FE, FE how much I got? FE I got this much. It is FE I got this much. And AE, the whole I got this much. So therefore from here AF I can find. AF, the distance C walked. Because AF is equals to BH. 
yes this is a rectangle so according to the figure i can say that af is equals to bh i need here bh understand so in here i have to find af ae i got fe i got i want to find af so therefore i can say that therefore af af is equals to ae ae minus ae minus fe so ae it is 28.5 root 3 minus 28.5 root 3 by 3 there okay 28.5 root 3 by 3 there so now you see if this one if i solve it let me solve it uh, in here let me solve it on the top this one lcm i will get 28.5 root 3 into 3 uh, 85.5 root 3 minus 28.5 root 3 so this one if i subtract it 28.5 i will get here uh, 57 root 3 by 3 i am getting okay 57 root 3 by 3 i am getting let's check the back answer back answer number 19 there okay so in here 57 if i divide it by 3 57 uh, if i divide it by 3 i will get 19 so this is equals to 19 root 3 i will get okay so this one this value is is equals to how much i got 19 root 3 meter understand so af value i got now since af is equals to bh okay since af is equals to uh, bh write this thing in this way uh, since bh is equals to af so therefore bh is equals to 19 root 3 meter understand bh is equals to 19 root 3 meter so therefore distance the boy walked towards the building distance the boy walked towards the building how much distance he walked he walked 19 root 3 meters okay so next we will go to uh, question number question number seven we will go next we will go to question number seven you see from a point on the ground the angles of elevation of the bottom and top of a tra transmission tower fixed at the top of a 20 meter high building are 45 degree and 60 degree respectively find the height of the tower okay from the point on the ground the angles of elevation of the top and bottom of a transmission tower at the top of a 20 meter high building so there is a 20 meter high building 20 meter high building there is a 20 meter high building and at the top of this 20 meter high building there is a uh, transmission tower okay there is a transmission tower AB is the building and on the top of this um, building there is a transmission tower let's name give D okay uh, there is a transmission tower and the from a point on the ground let's call it C from a point on the ground the angles of elevation of the top and bottom okay uh, of the bottom and top of the transmission tower top and bottom this is the top of the tower and this is the bottom of the transmission tower understand and this transmission tower it is uh, situated in top of this 20 meter building okay so from this tower, from this point on the ground the angles of elevations are given of the top and of the bottom okay from the top and of the bottom it is given as first one it is uh, given as third uh, bottom one bottom it is given as 30 degree and the top it is given as 60 degree okay what i have to find here uh, uh, bottom oh sorry this is 45 degree okay this is 45 degree and what i have to find here find the height of the tower i have to find the value of I have to find the value of db i have to find okay i have to find the value of db i have to find height of the tower uh, height of the uh, tower sorry 
sorry height of the tower that means da i have to find here okay height of the transmission tower height of the transmission this is height i need okay so no problem there first of all i will use in triangle in triangle a small triangle one i will use first a c b okay i i need to find the base okay c b first of all i need to find the base which is c b here so therefore i am taking this triangle and in here i will use again 10 theta i will use so 10 45 degree it will be is equals to a b by a b by b c 10 45 means 1 uh, a b value 20 given by b c so ultimately i will get b c is equals to 20 meter b c how much you got 20 meter understand now i will take this big triangle in triangle d c b in triangle d c b again i will use 10 uh, this is 10 16 okay 10 16 10 60 is equals to db by bc db by bc 10 60 it is root 3 is equals to db uh, db this is db is what da plus ab okay db is da plus ab and bc is equals to 20 i have already got yes 20 i have already got so therefore i am showing it you in here so therefore ultimately i will get 20 root 3 is equals to da plus ab i will get okay 20 root 3 is equals to da plus ab i will get understand da plus ab ab value it is already given it is 20 meter already given so ab you put it in here so 20 root 3 is equals to da plus 20 so 20 you bring this side you will get 20 root 3 minus 20 is equals to da so 20 common if you take you will get root 3 minus 1 meter is equals to da so this is your height of the tower understand da height of the tower 20 bracket root 3 minus 1 okay next i will go to question number uh, next i will go to question number 8 question number 8 a statue 1.6 meter tall stand on the top of a uh, pedestal Okay, let's say your this is the pedestal A B a statue 1.6 meter tall 1.6 meter tall uh, stands on top of a pedestal from a point on the ground the angle of elevation of the top of the statue is 60 degree and from the same point the angle of elevation the top of the pedestal is 45 degree find the height of the pedestal height of the pedestal a b i have to find so from a point on the ground the angle of elevation of the top of the statue angle of elevation of the top of the statue and the angle of elevation from the same point the angle of elevation to top of the pedestal top of the pedestal okay one it is one it is 60 degree and another one it is 45 degree okay angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal from this point is 45 and the angle of elevation uh, angle of elevation of the top of the statue from this point let's call it c it is 60 degree i have to find the height of this pedestal that means a b i have to find here okay again nothing given so now you see next uh, so now you see First, I will take um, okay. First, I will take this triangle in triangle okay. In triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, this triangle I will take ABC. In here, I will use uh, 10 okay. 1045 degree it is equals to a b by uh, b c a b by b c 
1045 is 1 is equals to AB by BC. This one, if I send it that side, BC is equals to AB, I will get. Okay, BC is equals to AB. This is equal to this. Now, in triangle, in triangle DBC, in this whole triangle DBC, okay, in triangle DBC, 1060 degree, it is equals to, this is whole angle is 60 degree, so 1060 degree, this is equals to DB by BC. 1060 degree, it is root 3, is equals to DB, which is DA plus AB. Okay, DA plus AB by BC. Okay, DA plus AB, DA plus AB by BC. DA, it is given as 1.6. DA, it is given as 1.6. So, this one, I am writing it in here. So, this one, I will get root 3 is equals to 1.6 plus AB. AB I have to find here by BC and in from here what I got BC is equal to AB I got this one you can give equation 1 BC is equal to AB I got so in place of BC I will write AB here understand so therefore this one I will get root 3 AB is equal to 1.6 plus AB AB if I set it that side I will get root 3 AB minus AB is equals to 1.6 AB if I take common AB root 3 minus 1 is equals to 1.6 I will get so AB is equals to 1.6 by root 3 minus 1 I will get understand 1.6 by root 3 minus 1 I will get okay so now in here what I will do this one I will rationalize do okay I am showing it in here this one what I will do, I will rationalize do. So AB is equals to 1.6 by root 3 minus 1 there. So both numerator and denominator, I will multiply it by root 3 plus 1, I will multiply it. So AB is equals to 1.6 root 3 plus 1 and this one it will become root 3 the whole square minus 1 square A plus B into A minus B formula, okay. So this one I will get AB is equals to 1.6 root 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 I will get. So AB is equals to 1.6 root 3 plus 1 by 2 I will get. So now this 1.6 if you divide it by 2 you will get you see AB is equals to you will get 0 0.8 root 3 plus 1 meter. This is the answer. Understand? Your this will be the answer. Okay. What is the height of the uh, height of the pedestal? What is the height of the pedestal? The height of the pedestal. It is that is AB. It is zero point eight root three plus one meter. Okay. So next I will go to question number. Uh, next I will go to question number nine here. Next, I will go to question number 9. So, question number 9. The angle of elevation of the top of a building from the foot of the tower is 30 meter, a uh, 30 degree. And the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the foot of the building is 60 degree. If the tower is 50 meter high, find the height of the building. Okay. The angle of elevation of the top of a building from the foot of a tower is 30 degree. So one building there, if the tower is fifteen and one tower there, okay, one building there, one tower there, okay, uh, tower is 50 meter in height. The angle of elevation of the top of the building from the foot of the tower is 30 degree. Top of the building from the foot of the tower, it is 30 degree. And the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the foot of the building, from the foot of the building, uh, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the foot of the building, this, this is angle of, uh, first the angle of elevation, 
which is the angle of elevation of the top of the building from the foot of the tower this is given as 30 degree and the angle of elevation uh, of the top of the tower from the foot of the building this is given as 60 degree okay uh, this is given as and the height of the tower it is given as 50 meter find the height of the building cd i have to find it okay height of the building cd i have to find it okay so now in here uh, first of all i will take this triangle in triangle in triangle a b d i will take okay in triangle a b d what i will use i will use 10 60 10 60 is equals to a b by b d i will get okay 10 60 a b by b d i will get 10 60 it is root 3 is equals to a b it is 50 by b d i will get so bd is equals to 50 by root 3 which is ultimately bd is equals to 50 root 3 by 3 meter i will get okay bd is equals to 50 root 3 by 3 i will get so bd value i got 50 root 3 by 3 now i will take this triangle in triangle uh, bcd Again, I will use 10 30 degree. 10 30 degree it is equals to CD by BD. 10 30 degree it is equals to CD by BD. 10 30 it is 1 by root 3 is equals to CD by BD, which is 50 root 3 by 3. I have got okay, 50 root 3 by uh, 3. I have got okay. So let me solve to this here. Let me solve this. So this one I will get 1 by root 3 is equals to 3 CD by 50 root 3 I will get. So 50 root, 50 root 3 by 3 into root 3 is equals to CD. Root 3 root 3 cut. Uh, 50 divided by 3. 50 divided by 3 I will get 1.66 I will get. Uh, 1.66 let me see what is the 1.6 uh, 16 hole 2 by 3 given okay 16 hole. so 50 if you divide it here 50 you will get 3 1 0, 3 2 0 3 6 0, 18 2 you will get so ultimately you will get 16 hole 2 by 3 meter is equals to CD you will get. Understand? 50 divided by 3, this is you will get 16 whole 2 by 3 meter. Okay. So, next, therefore, in here, therefore, you can write, therefore, the height of the building, height of the building is 16 whole 2 by 3 meter. Next, I will go to question number 10. Okay. Next, I will go to question number 10. Two poles of equal height are standing opposite to each other. Okay, two poles of equal height. Two poles are of equal height are standing opposite uh, to each other on either side of the road, which is eighty meter wide. Which is eighty meter wide. From a point between them on the road, the angles of elevation of the top of the poles. Are 60 degree and 30 degree form a point let's take this point as C let's take this point as C this is given 80 meter it is given okay let's take this from a point between them on the road the angles of elevation of the top of the poles are 60 degree and 30 degree respectively find the height of the poles and the distance and then the distances of the point from the poles. Okay, so one in here it is given angles of elevation from this point. One given one given 60 degree and another one given 30 degree. I have to find A, B and C, D. If I find A, B then automatically C, D I can find. Okay, because these two, uh, these two poles are of equal height. 
and I have to find BC and CD I have to find here. Okay, BC and CD I have, this is 80 meter. Okay, so in here, first of all, um, first of all, what I can do here, okay, first of all, I will take this triangle. Okay, I will take uh, this triangle. Two poles of equal heights are sending opposite to each other, the which are the 80 meter from a point between them on the diagonals of elevation on top of the by the height of the poles and the distances of the poles between the poles between the uh, height of distances of the point from the poles. Okay, so now I will let's take in this triangle in triangle A B C. I will use 1060. 1060 it is equals to A B by B C. Okay, 1060 it is equals to A B by uh, BC so 1060 it is root 3 is equals to AB uh, AB by BC so this one I will get root 3 BC is equals to AB I will, will give this one equation number 1 again I will take this one in triangle A sorry in triangle uh, this is C I have taken, so this one let's take it E. In triangle uh, C E D, in triangle C E D, again 1030, it is equals to E D by C B. I will get 1 by root 3. Uh, this is E D by E D by C D, sorry, E D by C D. Okay, this one uh, E D. ED by CD I will get okay uh, so therefore um, AB I got this much CD therefore I will get CD by root 3 is equals to ED I will get this is equation 2 okay so now since AB is equal to CD okay it is given understand since AB is equal to sorry AB is equal to ED AB is equal to ED this is our given so therefore root 3 BC equals to CD by root 3 I can write Okay, 3 if I send that side, I will get 3 BC is equals to CD, I will get. Okay, 3 BC is equals to uh, CD, I will get. So, um, Okay, so in here uh, 3 BC is equals to CD means CD means in, in place of CD what I can write BD minus BC I can write CD means BD minus BC so CD in place of I can write BD minus BC okay now if this one if I BC if I bring left hand side I will get uh, 3 BC plus BC is equals to BD I will get yes okay so this one 4 bc is equals to bd i will get yes 4 bc is equals to bd i will get bd value it is what 80 meter given so let's put it in here so this one i will get 4 bc okay 4 bc is equals to 80 i will get bc is equals to 80 divided by 4 80 divided by 4 is equals to 20 i will get understand 20 meter BC equals to how much I got 20 meter I got understand so this BC value if you put it in equation 1 AB value you will get 
Understand from equation one, you can say that from equation one, uh, AB is equals to root three BC value to integral. So root three. That means this is AB is equals to twenty root three meter. You will get yes, AB is equals to twenty root three meter. You will get. Understand AB twenty root three meter. So AB twenty root three meter means what? ED also twenty root three meter. You will get, and this is uh, BC twenty. You got so therefore CD it will be what? Uh, therefore, therefore you can write AB is equals to AB is equals to ED is equals to twenty root three meter, and then BC you got so CD CD is equals to what? BD minus BC, CD, CD is equals to BD minus BC. Yes, so CD is equals to BD eighty and BC twenty, which is is equals to sixty meter. You will get CD is equals to this is sixty meter. You will get understand. You one time will check the notes in the name in the notes that I have given you. There might be a little bit uh, different. Okay, in the notes that I have given you, there might be a little bit different. You see which procedure you are finding it easy. You do in this way. So in here nothing there. First of all, I will take this triangle. Okay, I will take this triangle. I will use tan function here. Tan sixty is equals to perpendicular by base. So AB by BC I will get tan sixty value. I know root three is equals to AB by BC. So in our AB also value I don't know BC also value I don't know BC I will send it there root three BC is equal to AB I will get this is your equation one and then I will take this triangle this triangle it is thirty there I will use ten thirty ten thirty is equals to perpendicular by base okay ten means perpendicular by base ED by CD I will get so ten thirty means one by root three one by root three is equals to ED by CD I will get ED by CD understand. So now ED value also don't know CD value also don't know so ED is equals to CD that's why I will send this as equation two understand now you see since AB is equals to ED it is given it to me this is equal to this so therefore AB is equals to ED given it to me so therefore right hand side right hand side equal there therefore left hand side left hand side will be equal therefore this is equal to this okay so three root three if I send that side root three into root three three I will get three BC is equal to CD. Now CD how I can write uh, BD minus BC I can write CD means what BD minus BC BD minus BC uh, BC one again you sent it that side three BC plus BC is equals to ED uh, sorry is equal to BD you will get this is BD okay this is BD you will get understand BD will so three BC plus BC four BC is equal to BD and BD it is how much eighty given. So four BC is equal to eighty. Four you send that side. BC is equal to eighty by four is equal to twenty meter. You will get BC value you got. BC value twenty meter you got. This BC value equation one you put equation one. So what you will get? This is uh, you write it in this way. Putting putting the value of BC in equation one. Putting the value of BC in equation one or from equation one. AB is equals to twenty. Uh, BC value twenty. So twenty root three meter. Understand? So AB is equal to ED. A since AB is equal to ED, so therefore AB is equal to ED is equal to twenty root three meter. The height of these two uh, towers or poles, the height of these two poles is twenty root three meter. Now next BC value I got a uh, CD I need. So CD is equals to what I can write BD minus BC. Yes, this is already have CD equal to BD minus BC. CD is equal to BD minus BC. So CD is equal to BD BD eighty minus BC twenty BD minus BC okay BD minus BC understand so BD how much eighty BC twenty so CD is equal to sixty meter I will get understand so distances of this point uh, what it is given here distances of the point from the poles are twenty meter and sixty meter. And the height of the poles are uh, twenty root three meter. 